but before we get up into it there's a couple of things that I wanted to say to some of the people out there, to some of the other bloggers that I'm here, all right? First of all, the stupid, nasty, boring dispatcher tried to make a video about Oh, yeah, the boring dispatcher said, You want some I want cheese balls? I want a cheeseburger, and I hate loca. And then plus, did you know that it's like, I hate loca week or some crap like that? Then give me a break, man. What's up with that? What's up with that, chicos? Exactly, for well, not only that, please come up over here and let us show you how it's done, right? Yeah, show me how it, how, show us how it's supposed to be done in the good way, okay? Somebody needs to do it better than her. Yeah, like that idiot in his stupid video. Oh, hey, oh yeah, the geek. <laughs> He's a damn geek. <laughs> I hate loca. I hate I hate loca. You yeah. look just like him, that fool looks just like him. No, I don't look like him. I look so much, much, much better. I made it in a good way, like that was a funny impersonation. Oh, uh, whatever. Hey guys, it's Victor. Give me a break, man. Give me a flake, man. And I wanted to uh, let you know a little history about um, my, my YouTube history a little bit. And now it's connected to uh, Little Loka and Stevie Ryan, who you may or may not know. Uh, but I guess I've been on YouTube since a, t 11, 10, I don't know, 11, 12 years now. And back in the day, uh, some of the biggest, well, well Stevie Ryan, <laughs> back in the day, was uh, infamous, uh, infamously known as Little Loka. And it, um, she used to blog in character. So Little Loka, let me back up. So Stevie Ryan's an actress, okay? And she rec recently commi committed suicide, uh, July 1st. Hung herself in California. Uh, I, don't, I know very little about her. I know she was born in Victorville. She dated some guy named Drake Bell. I don't know. She had her own show on VH1. Uh, what I do know is that she's also very, very talented. And it was a lot of, we had a lot of fun making, uh, having a little video war back in the day. And I, you know, I, I, I lost touch, I didn't stop, I, I think she stopped posting and I stopped watching and whatever. Anyway, we're, we, 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 were, we were never friends on YouTube, but, but um, I, I remember um, finding out that she was just a character and thinking how, uh, how rude of her to be attacking other people and pretending to be a Mexican. <laughs> when people think, I'm, and the funny thing is people think I'm Mexican, but I'm not actually Mexican. Uh, I'm quite a mix of everything, but... Um, not, 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 none of it is Mexican. <laughs> no part of me is Mexican. Anyway, um, so back in the day, I'll just a little history. Back in the day, she uh, she made a video, some videos attacking other YouTubers in character, and nobody knew that she was an actress. Everyone thought she her name was actually Loca. Little, Lo I guess her her nickname, her, her YouTube name was Loca, and everyone assumed she was actually a Mexican chick. Uh, it turns out she's a she's a white chick, uh, just an actress, and she does a she she, uh, she went on to. Do I think Paris Hilton and Karshdashian parodies, and uh, she got a show I think on VH1 doing parodies, and then she did she had some uh, some talking about sex show like in a, like a Howard Stern format I think uh, I saw one or two of those, and, uh, and then she had a podcast uh, about mental health issues, and uh, turns out she was um, she suffered from depression. Now. <sighs> How I became involved is, uh, along with some other friends back in the day, we were, we felt self-righteous. We thought, you know, hey, you shouldn't be making fun of people, bullying people online, especially in character, and it's just, uh, it's just malicious, you know? So we made these videos making, kind of calling her, calling her out on her shit. She made a video back, and one of the people, one of the, a couple of the people involved there was, was a guy named Channel Reviews, who still, whose, whose channel is still there, but his, he stopped making videos a long time ago. I think he, if I remember correctly, I don't think he liked her very much at all. Another guy who didn't like her very much was uh, Roger, the boring dispatcher, who used to be like the, uh, the, what do you call him? He was like the goodwill bully on YouTube. He'd make fun of other people, but he also would make fun of people he actually liked to give them attention. It was kind of like, hey, this person sucks. 
and I, I like, I'm watching your videos, but you suck. And, but what would happen inevitably, inevitably would be people would end up watching that person's videos, and it got, it got a lot of people a lot of attention. So it was actually good to be called out by the boring dispatcher. Um, ooh, 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 big bee over there. So anyway, uh, long story short, I made a video against her. She made a video about me making fun of me. Uh, the f funny thing is, she, uh, she she died. You know, she killed herself. She was 33. And um, back, I guess, back about 10 years ago, she must have been 23, right? I remember her calling me old, saying these old guys are all making fun of me. And, um, ten years ago, I, you know, I, st I still feel young, but ten years ago, I feel I felt even younger. And I guess I'm, you know, I'll be 50 uh, soon. <laughs> and a lot of people who who see that age, and I can understand, I, you see that number, and you're like, wow, that that feels old. But not when you get there. When you get there, you don't feel old. I mean, before you get there, it feels old. I mean, the, the number sounds like, oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be old. But when you get there, it's not that old. Anyway, um, so that that was about ten or eleven years ago. Now, about five, five or six years ago, I don't know what this is. I saw this. This. What is this thing? It's a golf, it's a golf caddy for children. The wheels on there. It's throwing it away. Anyway, so uh, five or six years ago, Roger died, actually. Roger the Boring Dispatcher. Who had been so infamous and so famous that actually the one of the one of the founders of YouTube, the guy who shot the elephant video, you know? That guy actually was sub to him, so he was pretty huge. I think the other guys were sub to him. I think he actually, yeah, had conversations with Steve and the other guy. I forgot their names, but the guys who founded YouTube. So Roger was, uh, and this is before the, the platform was monetized at all, but he, he was a, uh, uh, tow truck dispatcher in the middle of the night. He did the night shift, I mean. And he would just sit there in front of his computer just waiting for calls so he had nothing to do. And he was a huge guy, he was six four, six four or something, and and like, well, I don't know, 300 pounds, 400 pounds, he was a huge, huge guy. But he, had, he was also a softie, he was, really, he was a really sweet guy. Um, and he had gone through ups and downs on YouTube, a lot of, a lot of drama there. And, too, too, too much to get into, but he ended up quitting YouTube and finding love, fell in love with this girl. And then he got meningi meningitis, I believe that's what it was, and he died. We were really good friends, and it was really uh, so weird. I'd never met him in per per in person, but but um, but it was really uh, painful for that to, to see him die or to hear about it, you know. And the, the interesting thing was uh, Stevie Ryan, in character, made a video saying, and I'll, and I'll, I'll link it in the description, made a video linking, uh, I mean, uh, a kind of a little tribute to the Boring Dispatcher saying, hey, you know, I, you are my enemy on YouTube, but but uh, I, did, I never wanted you to die, you know, I, I, and I had a kind of a respect for you. On YouTube, in the community and everything, Somebody who definitely was a personality on here has passed away. And it was actually probably one of my top enemies on here, the Born Dispatcher. And he passed away, I believe it was Saturday night. Um, I'm probably wrong on all of this stuff. I don't, my brain is like, it's just lately it's going crazy. But um, he passed away and he was young, you guys. He's like 31, I think, or 32. Did you see the light flickering right now? That was freaking scary, fool, for real. And now I can't see because I looked right at it, you know? But anyways, um, my heart goes out to his family, his girlfriend, his brother, his parents, and especially to his child, you know? He has a little kid, you guys, and it's just really heartbreaking. And I know that we weren't friends or anything like that, but that fool definitely had a, an opinion, and he stuck to it. He was down as hell. Just because he wasn't my homie doesn't mean that I totally don't, I don't know, respect him or something, you know what I mean? Like, whatever. But, um... I just want to say that his family will be in my prayers, and I will always remember Roger for years. Um. And I thought that was really sweet. That was really nice. And Roger must have been pretty young then. I guess he was about 35 or so. Uh, though, from Stevie's point of view, being in her 20s, that seemed really old to her as well. 
Um, the from from a I guess a selfish point of view, uh, it does, doesn't make it. It makes me sad, of course, that anybody would would kill themselves or die, uh, or just die, you know, for whatever reason. But another thing that that uh, sadden, saddens me is that when this when thing when someone dies, it, they they die. They don't just take their own life, but they take their history with them. And with little Loka dying, with uh, Stevie Ryan dying, she also buries uh, Roger that much deeper. And in a way, my, myself that much deeper. I mean, she, we had a very tiny interaction and she made a video or two, maybe just one about me. Making fun of me. <laughs> uh, now I cherish that video. It's like an honor that she did that. Um, but now she's gone and that just means that there's one less person out there who knows me. Because you know what they say, right? You're, you're, you will live as long as someone remembers you. You will live. You, you are living. You, you will live forever, right? As long as people remember you. When people stop remembering you, then, then look at that. Then that's when, uh, that's when you start dying, right? We're destroying a house over here. People are always complaining about the economy in Japan, but this place, uh, they're always building and rebuilding, tearing down the house. Look at that. Anyway, so, so yeah, there's that. But of course, um, you know, and, you, and when someone commits suicide, of course, I'm sure, I'm sure hundreds of her friends all thought what, they could have done something. And, I, and, and I, even I thought that, I thought, wow, if I just like known and reached out to her and said, hey, remember me, you know, just for, for whatever reason, it would have been cool. And maybe given her, taking her off her, distracted her, or, or, or taking taking her mind off whatever was bothering her. But of course it's not, I mean, that's just silly, silliness of me and wish, wishful thinking. Uh, when people commit suicide, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a much more complicated thing than anyone could imagine. Uh, I remember back when I was a teenager, though, uh, I, I often had suicidal thoughts. And you know when you're a teenager, a lot of teenagers kind of romanticize that. I don't know, some Romeo and Juliet bullshit, you know. Um, and of course I went through that as well. But I had a girlfriend then who I mentioned that to. And she thought, she was angry. She was angry at me for even saying that, for speaking that way. And, uh, and the reason was is that her father had committed suicide. And in her mind, it was really a, a really selfish act. And I'm not, I'm not saying that this is the case, this is my opinion on whatever, what happened to Stevie Ryan, but... Um, her father had committed suicide and had... had left notes all around the house. Uh, and she was only like six years old when it happened, but he left notes like in books under the sofa behind, uh, behind the refrigerator everywhere like the house was full of notes and they were all blaming her mother basically calling her mother out for for but blaming her so I, you know i killed myself because of you bitch kind of thing uh but um of course that's, that's just one case but anyway but her, her point was that it's selfish to take your life because you you take yourself away from everyone who loves you and you know i'm not i'm not I'm a medical expert at all but but I will tell you uh, one thing, I'm, I'm just, uh, I do love life and I see little things like this every day, which is nothing, just flowers. Or someone, what did they put? Someone just threw away something, look at this, it's a brother, it's an old brother, um, this is probably a sewing machine. Yeah, look at that, old sewing machine, someone just throwing away, it's antique. Pace setter 610, someone look that up, see what that's worth. <laughs> You know, I, I, I came home last night and I saw some, some plants that I'd never seen. They were red and blue, uh, reddish, uh, reddish. And it was raining and it was just beautiful. There was, there was, a, there was a, a typhoon yesterday, it was beautiful. So many things are beautiful. Look at this. A tiny road. I mean, life is just, you never know what's gonna be around the corner and life is just so beautiful that I just can't imagine wanting to, and it's short enough, you know? It's short enough. Oh, why would you want to end it? But of course it's not that simple. Look at that. What is that? It's 
so uh, so I'm really so I'm sorry that she died. I'm sorry she uh, she decided to take her life. Uh, I guess the only thing I can say about that, which path looks better. The only thing I can say about that is, um, you know, if you're feeling depressed, then don't be alone. Because you can't kill yourself if you're alone, right? I mean, you can only kill yourself if you're alone. <laughs> if you're with people, you know, hopefully they take your mind off shit. I've got, and again, this is simplistic. Uh, you know, this is my second time making this video. I actually went out last night and had a drink and had a drink in the street. Uh, talking about... Uh, Little Loka and, and uh, Roger and such, but but it uh, I don't know it just didn't feel right. I was tired and drinking and I don't know. Anyway, uh, all I wanted to say was life is beautiful, and if you're depressed, and get out there and spend time with somebody and uh, get out of your own head. You know. Um. But, you know, she was a really talented girl, young lady, whatever you want to say. She, had, she was very uh, entertaining, if you look at her videos. Uh, and she hasn't posted for a long time, but I think she, uh, she had like 40 million views or so before, before, even, before she got her TV deals and shit. So. The weirdest thing, uh, I was just thinking about her just two days ago when I heard and I and I I was then I was uh, I was ed editing a video which I, is coming up on give me a break man soon by the way I was <laughs> editing a video gotta plug yourself even when you're doing a depressing video I was editing a video and I took a break and went on to uh, to the Google News and I saw that some you know girl Stevie Ryan had died and I never really knew her by that name I mean of course it took me it took a while to figure that out but I mean I saw the headlines and I thought ah. Who's that? You know, it says YouTuber. I don't, I don't know that person. And then I realized, wait a minute, that's Little Loka's real name. So, so weird. It's, it's, it's sad. And uh, don't, don't, uh, don't kill yourself. Is all I can say, don't kill yourself because you're not just killing yourself. You're killing, you're killing all your memories, and you're and you're taking part of uh, part of this world away every time. Every time someone dies, they take a little part of this world away. And this world is, I mean, we got enough problems as it is, people dying all the time. These horrible stories happening all the time. Come drop. People happening all the time. <laughs> you know, but it's a, it's a, there's so much to see, so much to do, so many things are happening, you know. Why would you want to end it so, don't be so, in such a rush to die. You'll get there eventually. You'll die eventually. Life doesn't need your help to die. Life is killing you already, so. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Uh, I think there might be a bird's nest up here. But I don't have a... No, not today. No bird nest. Okay. That would be nice to end on a bird nest on life. Well, we'll, we'll end in this little garden. Okay, that's all I got for you today. Anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're all doing well out there. Um, there are some links to uh, suicide hotlines and stuff if you're feeling depressed. Um, and if you are, I'm sorry. I, I would say cheer up, but I know that's kind of useless. All I would say is there's no point hurrying, hurrying, well, hurrying death. And he'll get there. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Oh, look at these flowers. We'll end over here on these flowers. These are nice flowers over here. Yeah, check these out. These are uh, black Susans, I think they're called. Yeah. Little fly over there. Hmm.